Toma Daniel Conway was born on December the 15th, 1933. He was an American actor, comedian, writer, and director. He was born in Willoughby, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland, and grew up in nearby Chagrin Falls. His parents were Sophia Mergoe and Daniel Conway, a groomer of polo ponies. His father was an Irish immigrant and his mother was of Romanian origin. His original birth name was Romanian and was Anglicized to Thomas during his childhood. He later changed his name to Tim to avoid confusion with actor Tom Conway. He attended Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio, where he majored in television and radio and was a disc jockey and member of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity. When he graduated, Conway enlisted in the United States Army, where he served between 1956 and 1958. After his discharge from the Army, he returned to Cleveland and worked with Ernie Anderson on KYW-TV, an NBC affiliate, in 1958 and 1959. From 1960 to 1962, he was on WJW-TV on a weekday morning film show where he also wrote material for the comedic skits shown during film intermissions. He also recorded a comedy album with Anderson, who himself gained national prominence as a voiceover announcer for ABC television in the 1970s. WJTV dismissed him in 1962, in part because he and Anderson misled the station management into thinking he had experience as a director. He continued to make many appearances alongside Anderson's alter ego, Ghoul Artie, a B-rated horror film show. After he became famous, he resurfaced periodically on Cleveland television on the Julian and Big Chuck and Big Chuck and Little John shows on WJW-TV in guest spots and occasional skits. He also made regular guest appearances at numerous Gullardy Fests, functions held by WJW over the years, along with former Cleveland TV personality Bob Julian Wells in tribute to Anderson, who died in 1997. Comedic actress Rose Marie visited WJW in 1961 as part of CBS's promotional practice of sending their major show stars directly to local affiliates. In this case, it was for the Dick Van Dyke Show. She viewed tapes of some of Anderson and Conway's skits and proceeded to take him under her wing. Following his departure from WJW, he moved to New York City where, with Rose Marie's assistance, he auditioned for and gained a spot on ABC's The Steve Allen Show as a regular player. From 1966 to 2012, he appeared in over 20 TV shows, TV series, and films portraying different characters in each. Among his more notable roles, he portrayed the inept Ensign Parker in the 1960s World War II McKell's Navy. He became a regular cast member from 1975 to 1978 on the TV comedy The Carol Burnett Show, where he portrayed his reoccurring iconic characters Mr. Tudball, Oldest Man, and Dumb Private. He co-starred with Don Knotts in several films from 1970 to 1980. He was the title character in the Dwarf series of eight sports comedy direct-to-video films from 1987 to 1996. He also provided voiceovers for Barnacle Boy in the animated series SpongeBob SquarePants from 1999 to 2012. Twice in 1970 and in 1980 to 81, he had his own TV series. He was particularly admired for his ability to depart from scripts with humorous ad-libs and gestures which frequently caused others in the skit to break character while attempting to control their surprise and laughter. He won six Primetime Emmy Awards during his career, four of which were awarded for The Carol Burnett Show, including one for writing. He was married to Marie Ann Dalton from 1961 until 1978, and they had six children together. He was then married to Charlene Fusco from 1984 until his death. He also did a lot of voiceover work on various shows such as SpongeBob SquarePants, where he voiced the roles of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, The Simpsons, the Disney spinoff Hercules, Lloyd in Space, The Wild Thornberries, Sybil, The Proud Family, the new Scooby-Doo movies, World Girl, Scooby-Doo, Pirates Ahoy, and What's with Andy. He also narrated The Secret Shortcut in Reading Rainbow and hosted the Flintstones 25th anniversary celebration. His final voice role was the seagull in the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. He was a fan of thoroughbred horse racing and an occasional racehorse owner. 
He was the co-founder and vice president of the board of directors of the Don Macbeth Memorial Jockey Fund. On September 27, 2018, SpongeBob SquarePants showrunner Vincent Waller commented that during the time he was recording dialogue for the Seagull in the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water, he was having trouble recording due to health issues. It would ultimately lead to his retirement from playing Barnacle Boy and from acting as a whole. In 2018, he was diagnosed with dementia due to normal pressure hydrocephalus, had surgery to have a ventricular shunt placed, and was confined to a wheelchair. His daughter Kelly and his wife Charlene each wanted sole conservatorship over his health. Judge Robert Wada ruled against Kelly since he was in the hospital. In March 2019, his wife was granted conservatorship. Tim Conway died on May 14, 2019 at the age of 85 from complications of normal pressure hydrocephalus. Tim Conway, rest in peace. You will be missed.